In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Moist Critical is one of the largest creators on both YouTube and Twitch with over 16 million total followers. He loves all things gaming, playing nearly every game you can think of, gifting thousands of dollars for specific gaming achievements and even starting his own esports org. He also keeps up with all things drama, following all sorts of scams or scandals in any community. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price episode 15. Today's guest is Moist Critical. How you doing today, Charlie? Hey, good. Just happy to be here and ready to flex my knowledge on the, the old card prices here since I've got so many. I think I'm going to absolutely crush this one. I mean, you have every card like ever made, so it's I mean, you should know these right i mean just theoretically oh, yeah i'll know them i'll know them i'm not worried oh, about that okay yeah you're definitely gonna know them perfect okay let's just go straight into question one i'm expecting top-notch performance from you yep all right question one we have eldritch the golden lord secret rare first edition from secret slayers Ooh, that's an interesting one so this is definitely going to be probably a tier one card this is a meta card secret slayer is kind of a stinker of a set i'm gonna just go with my gut i'm gonna think this is right around that like 40 to 45 dollar ballpark i'm not even gonna use a lifeline i'm just gonna send it that's my final answer lock that get in okay okay you said 40 to 45 so what's your actual lock-in answer Oh, right, right. I need an exact one. Let's just go right in the middle. Let's just do 45. 45. Okay. All right. <laughs> Charlie. Okay. Charlie, look, you said you knew all the answers. So, I mean, you did know this one. It's $46. Ooh. <laughs> uh, if, if I was getting, you know, I, I miscarried some decimal places there. I would have gone 46. You know, it's, it's one of those things. We're, we're in right You there. rounded, right? You rounded to the yeah. nearest like five. So yeah, otherwise you would have nailed it completely. But okay, you're off to an ex a scorching start. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> I didn't mention to you earlier, but because you were in the right tier, you get like a $10 credit added on. So you're basically plus nine right now. So you're oh, looking good. really good. Question two, I mean, I'm getting a little worried already. I mean, your first question, you've already nailed it. We have Elemental Hero flame wingman ultimate rare first edition from the lost millennium oh this is an interesting one this is a very cool set this was the same set that also had the um was it guy i think it was gaia the ultimate rares in this set were pretty cool so this is absolutely a tier two this is first ed right yeah that's de definitely tier two yeah. your wallet's got to be sweating right now because i think i'm going to strike within again one or two dollars because i'm pretty sure flare wingman was like a 105 ish so let's just lock in like 105 on flare wingman 105 okay 105 let's see if my wallet's gonna be sweating after that one elements of hero flame wingman ultimate rare this card is 200 dollars Ooh, uh, well, you see what happened? I didn't account for inflation. So right, I, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, yeah. I, when I purchased this thing back in the olden days, it was far cheaper. You know, you you could get a pack of gum for a, a penny, but, you know, not not today. <laughs> this, you sound like, this is what Rhyme Style was doing. He's like, three years ago, I was exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right He's now. He's like, look, if I just traveled back in time, I would have nailed this quiz. But hey, you're still in the right range, so you do get that, that credit back. You're still, still, still not a terrible guess. You're within like 85 after the credit pretty solid let's go to question three see if you can keep it up you not bad not bad yeah i'll take it all right question number three a great guess and an okay guess so far let's see if you can keep it up we have dd assailant secret rare from oh. dark revelation 4. yes this is a very interesting card. Dark Revelations was a pretty stupid set that I'm not too big of a fan of, but I did decide to get this card. It's hard to find. I got it like two years ago. This is a tier three card for sure. I think when I got it, it was just over 400. So let's let's do some rough calculations in the old noodle here. I'm going to assume it's gone up because it's only getting harder to find. So let's just add like, you know, let's add like 50, 60 bucks. Let's go with like $460. You could DDS say, sale. yeah, you could say it's probably gone up, but then you do have to account for the fact that, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! in general is like, it's gone down a little bit recently. Ooh, that's true. It's not as hot. I'm still going to lock in though, because I, I okay. feel confident. Let's just do 460. 460, okay. All right, DD Assailant Secret rare you said you bought it for just over four hundred dollars yeah this was a couple of years ago well it seems like the price hasn't changed that much this is a four hundred dollar card mm. 
Oh, I thought you were going to go right on the head for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, she's insane. That's so unlucky. The price hasn't changed. I should have just trusted my gut. I made a mistake asking you on because you've literally bought every card. So you, you literally, you know, you know how much they were. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I still feel oh, them. Oh my gosh. Most people would be like, what is even Dark Revelation 4? Like, uh, what is that? What is that set? You were like, oh yeah, I know this set. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a weird set. They had like a, it was mainly just a bunch of reprints, but then they had some weird uh, weird rarity ones that they threw in like the assailant and then they had the, yeah. um, the the orbital laser one that I forgot the name of. Yeah, they have some really uh, like satellite cannon and stuff like that. That's the one, satellite cannon. Yeah, they have some strange, like almost every hollow in here is like like ridiculously expensive. Like there, I think I pulled like a BES Tetran in the lowest list. It was like $105 for a super rare. And I was like, this yeah. cannot be right. It's this such a insane. weird set. Okay, all right. It's still a pretty good guess for tier three because those are usually where it goes awry. So 60 bucks off, not bad at all question four you haven't even thought about a lifeline yet so keep in oh, mind yeah, you I do have those i mean you've got those let's go to question four this one is Lumina the Light Sworn Summoner Super Rare from Champion Pack 8. Ooh, so now you found something in my Achilles heel. So I didn't bother with Super Rares. I'm very familiar with Champions Ooh. Pack. This one's going to be a little tough for me. So there's an Ultra Rare in every Champion Pack. Those were the ones that I'd grab. Those weren't Tier 3. Yeah, ironically, the uh, the Super Rares from Champion Pack are actually usually the valuable cards. I mean, in general, I'm not telling you the yeah. answer for this one. But you do have your lifeline if this is not in your wheelhouse. So there's probably not a lot of super rares left on the quiz, theoretically, so. I think I will use a lifeline on this one. Let's use lower or higher. I'm gonna throw something out and you just tell me if, uh, where I'm at. Okay. Or cold. I'm going to assume that this is going to be around the ultra rare, maybe a little bit more or less. So let's just go with, I think in this one, I think it was like a, a little over like 150 at the time. So let's just say 150, lower or higher. First lifeline being used. First time we've we finally found a weakness in your armor, a chink, <laughs> as you could say. This card is more than $150. Okay, then I still just I'm not convinced it breaks tier three. If I can give you, I can give you some info on on Lightsworn. So Lightsworn is pretty popular. I'm sure you know that, but mm -hmm. uh, it is also playable in Edison format, which is pretty popular right now. And this is the highest rarity of the card. This is the highest rarity Lumina. I mean, if you're going by like highest rarity, not as in literally like Starlight, Ultra Rare, but this is like the high rarity card people use to bling out their deck. My gut's telling me it just doesn't break tier three. So I'd be a fool to go against it. I'm going to go a little under tier three. So let's do like a 225 for that card. Okay, I like it. You, I mean, you should never go against your gut. That is true. I agree with that. However, your gut may have steered you slightly wrong. Not too bad. It's a $294 card. Mm, oh, unlucky, unlucky. I believe this is actually the most expensive card in Champion Pack 8. Uh, a lot of the Champion Packs, the Super Rares are like crazy, and then the Ultras kind of suck a lot of the time. I don't know why they did that, but for some reason they did. Uh, but still, you're really not too far off. You're in the ballpark. You didn't hit the tier this time, but you're less than like 70 whatever away. So pretty solid. Yeah, that's a, that, that was definitely a curveball. Nice one on that. Question five. Maxi Secret Rare First Edition from Storm of Ragnarok. How do you feel about the Maxi? It's great in Master Duel. And in fact, I think it's 100% necessary in Master Duel or that'd be just like an unplayable format. Oh, a hot take. Okay, people are gonna <laughs> probably be mad about this. <laughs> hey, I, I have not played w in about three months, not like in the ladder. So maybe things- I haven't either. So <laughs> join the club. Cause they have so many like, high rarities of maxi they have the ultimate rare as well yeah that i think this is the second highest the ultimate rare is definitely considered the top rarity uh, i'll just i'll just feel it out here with what my my gut's telling me i think this one's going to be in the tier three zone because this is the secret rare storm of ragnarok this is from the actual set i'm just gonna go with like a nice clean 300 on the maxi secret rare but something's telling me i'm going to regret that but uh, if something's telling you that it's not too late to use a lifeline and double check you could check the tier you could swap it who knows let's let's do let's do the tier what tier is this okay so so you you went for it and you're like eh, let's, let's try the tier let's double check great decision charlie because this is a tier two card okay all right good that's huge tier two that tells me a lot here I don't even think it breaks 200 if I'm being honest. I think it's gonna be less. Okay, so so you said that tells you something. What did it tell you that it's not? I mean, obviously it told you it's not 
you know, tier one or three, but what did it tell you? It tells me that this card still got quite a lot out there. So it's not going to be like a super hard to find card, which means the price isn't going to be crazy. Okay. So I'm going to guess that it's, I'm just, I think I'm going to stick with like a 200 here, even though that even seems a little high to me, it just feels a bit safer to go with that. I'm just waiting for you to talk yourself into another number. <laughs> I know I, this has been all over the place. You know what? No, no more second guessing. Just do 200. Lock it 200. In. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we have cut off a hundred since you used the lifeline. I will say that hundred was definitely in the right direction. This card is one hundred and twenty three dollars. Yeah, that's yeah. Yep. You're still within 100, though. You have yet to go over 100. You almost did, but then you used your lifeline. So not bad. You're at halfway point. You're doing pretty solid. Question six. Marincess Seahorse Starlight Rare First Edition Rising Ooh. Rampage. I chased this card. How? I don't I don't know if these have really like shot up. Is this one of the ones when you opened like 100 boxes back then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. This also had the um, the trap card secret rare that I'm blanking on the name of the Storm Dragon. Or yeah, something. Rising Ray. Ra no, it wasn't. No, it's the name of the set. What is it? Storm Dragon's Return. Yeah, you're right. Yep, that's the one. So that I pulled that one. I never I don't think I ever pulled the Marinsa side. Did you I pull Opelosa? No, I had to oh, buy it. It's like $2,000 though. Oh, I have it. I had to buy it though. It was cheaper then. Yeah. Marinsa Seahorse, I don't think was a very big one at the time. I know Storm Dragon's Return was the cheapest when I pulled it. And I think Marinsa Seahorse was right above it. And I think something's telling me it was like right around 400. Because, hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's probably right. I doubt that it's gone up unless Marincess is seeing play for some reason in like a new deck. Let's trust me. I I'm gonna go 400 on the Marincess Seahorse. I let's get a wacky number in there so I can see if I can hit it on the nose. I'm gonna go with 400 and... $14. $414 from the Marincess Seahorse. All right. This card is $280. What? How is it going down? So the Storm Dragons returns all the way down to like $50 or $60 or something. No, I actually, it might be like $100 now. This one, I think, also went down. But then the Opelosa went the other way and went way up. So I guess because this isn't really being used and it's not very good, I guess. And it's not, I guess, collectible for the most part, unless you're collecting all the Starlights. It's like, you're not really collecting Marincess, I guess. I get, that's my guess. I don't really know. That blows my mind because this is the first set that had Starlights. In right, the yeah, US. it's 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 literally one of the first Starlights. It's one of four. Wow, okay. But that's this one being dropped. No big deal. We're cutting it out. Yeah, not, Jesus. Nothing to worry about. Hey, that's your third tier three. So you may or may not even have another one at this point. So you, unless it's the bonus one, you don't have another tier three. Okay, question seven. Rebound question coming up. Cyber Jar Ultimate Rare First Edition from Duelist Pack Kaiba. Oh, this one's not very expensive. Uh, Duelist Pack Kaiba is a cool set, but it's not like super expensive cards in there. This one also had like the Ring of Destruction. It had, I think it had the- um, Pot of Greed. Yeah, Pot of Greed and it had two more, right? Cause it was five. Yeah, Chaos Emperor and- Yeah, Chaos Emperor. Uh, Crush Card, I believe was the fifth. This one, I don't remember being one of the top of that. And even still, it would have been under a hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure Cyber Jar was a tier one card. So let's let's go off faith. Uh, I'm gonna go with ninety-two dollars for Cyber Jar. All right, like, get a little wacky with the numbers now. Get the mm -hmm. random stuff. Trying to nail it on the head. I like it. I like the yeah. strategy. Okay, question seven. Was this your rebound question? It was. This card is eighty dollars. Oh, a little high. Okay, I shot a little too high. That's still good. I mean, that's a great guess. So you're up to two tier ones two tier twos, three tier threes. That's going to really start mattering towards the end because you'll be able to like know for sure one of the last two is uh, whatever the actual one is. So question eight, nice comeback. Let's get onto that one and see if you can nail this one. We have the Volcanic Doomfire Ultimate Rare First Edition from Force of the Breaker. Okay, uh, this is kind of like a nothing burger card to me. Uh, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. I have it and Force of the Breaker is kind of a bad set. Force of the Breaker is the one that I think also had the Crystal Beast Ultimate uh -huh. Rares. Yep, which yeah. not many people really care about. This card I know had to be towards the bottom. I don't think Volcanic Doomfire was a big one in that set. I think the Crystal Beast, what's the big Crystal Beast? The Pegasus one, I think. Yeah, Sapphire Pegasus. One. That was only like a $70 card. So this guy's gotta be much less. I'm gonna go with like $24 for Volcanic 
like Doomfire. So Ultimate Rare First Edition from a 2007 set, you want to go $24. It was very cheap. Unless things have skyrocketed, Force of the Breaker was really cheap when I got it a couple of years ago. I'm just double checking. You want to lock in 24 bucks? You know what? I'm going to add $10 since you since you gave me the attitude. I'm you're going gonna get, $34. You're going to give me the, the rucks in 34 That's what you're going to do? Yeah, we're going $34 <laughs> on Volcanic Doomfire. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be cheap. Uh, okay. All right. You asked for it. The Volcanic Doomfire Ultimate Rare First Edition. This card is $183. <laughs> what happened to this set? What? I mean, it's the cover card. It's got to be worth something. <laughs> but There's yeah, it is. No it's, way. it's an awful card. It's actually really hard to find. I've always wanted one of these. Don't ask me why I want it. I think it just looks cool. But getting the first edition ultimate rare, like actually near mint, is like really hard to find for this card. That blows my fucking mind. <laughs> it's like crazy. 24 bucks. This card sucks. I think the Crystal Beasts have gone up a lot too because of the uh battles of legend crystal revenge as well so that that could have just influenced the whole set but this being so old at this point it, it's probably like the worst gx set but it's still like it's old so people are gonna buy it but yeah wow hey you went ten dollars up that works okay we'll take it last two questions <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let's just pretend like that one didn't happen no big deal hey you still haven't missed one that bad we've had a lot worse we've got two questions left so far review You've had three tier two, three tier three. That means the last two, one of them is guaranteed to be tier one. Keep that in mind. The other one's completely random. I'm gonna ask you both of these at the same time. Okay, I'm ready. Question nine, we have Elemental Hero Bubble Man Ultimate Rare First Edition from Cybernetic Revolution. And number 10, Graceful Charity Secret Rare First Edition from Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. Cool, so this one's easy. Uh, the Graceful Charity's tier one, Bubble Man's tier three. Bubble Man is really hard to find in good condition so bubble man is absolutely the uh the, the tier three in this one keep in mind you do have your swap question if you do want to do that no i think i know bubble man cybernetic revolutions an older set that was really hard to find this one also had like the cyber and dragon and all that mm -hmm. i think bubble man was like somewhere in the 300 range graceful charity i remember being i think in like in the 20 dollar range so let's all right, I'm coming rapid fire here. Graceful Charity, I'm going to lock in a $26 price tag on that puppy. Okay. And then for Bubble Man, I'm just going to... I don't think it was more than 300 I really don't. But maybe it was. Because Bubble Man's also pretty rare in another set as well. It's one of the... Um old G gx collector sets that i can't remember the name of but it also oh like the a... the G secret rare one is that the one you're yeah, talking about the secret all... rare one yeah it's like a promo but it's really hard to find that product yeah i think bubble man just in general is a pretty tough one in this set i know he was a, a big boy let's go a little higher than 300 i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do it Are you going with or against your gut right here that's the I'm question i'm going kind of against it because i oh, feel like it's in the 300s changing but, strategies yeah but i feel like you know maybe it's more now a couple years later so let's let's account for that let's go with like a 448 dollars on bubble man okay so you, you were saying okay this thing's probably not over 300 then you decide to go against your gut and go an extra 150 dollars yeah because uh, if volcanic doom fire is somehow already that much in <laughs> And Bubble Volcanic Man, Doom I, Fire's throwing you off, isn't it? <laughs> that's really, yeah, that's that's shaking my confidence. Well, okay, here's the difference between those two cards. Volcanic Doom Fire is the cover card, and it's an ultra in the set. And then Bubble Man is just a rare in the set. So there's a pretty big difference between those two. I just remember Bubble Man, he's one of the top five in that set, because I remember that one was kind of hard for me to actually get when I was looking yeah. for it. And that was a couple of years ago, so I imagine it's even more difficult now. Maybe it's not, though. Maybe you're trying to tell me something. I, you know, I, I could be, could not. Who knows? Maybe you're trying to transmit a little information through the ether. Let's let's bring it down. Let's go with like 373 on Bubble Man. 373. All right. You're ready to confirm those answers? Yeah, I'm confirming them. Run it. So you didn't use your swap. That's okay. You didn't need. It. At least you think you didn't need it. <laughs> Question <laughs> number nine. We have the Bubble Man Ultimate Rare First Edition. I'm going to save that one for last because that was the one you think is a bigger number. Graceful Charity Secret Rare First Edition from Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. You said 26 bucks? Yep. This card's $39. Oh my so, God. So <laughs> very close. You're very close. You're in the ballpark. You are in the correct tier. Now we go to the Bubble Man, the one where you're all over the map on this one. You know it's rare. You know it's hard to find. This card is you said 373 dollars mm -hmm. this 
actual price is $228. How is this possible? What is happening? <laughs> Where are they finding these extra inventory of like <laughs> near mint bubble man ultimate? I think rares? they traded them for the volcanic doom fires. I think that's what happened. They're How almost the same price. How is this happening? <laughs> what, what in the world? Okay, but honestly, not too bad. Now we got to figure out how well you did. We got to do a little math here, but we're going to come back and see how you did compared to everyone else. All right, that sounds good. Are you ready for the reveal of how you did, Charlie? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm a little disappointed in my performance. I thought I'd do better. Look, I thought you did really well, especially considering you bought all these cards like two years ago. So it's like really hard to keep up when you haven't checked them in like two years for the most part. I was really worried in that first question though, when you were like one dollar $1 away. I was like, oh no, <laughs> has he been studying or something? Okay, yeah. let's just see how you did. So overall, your total value of your 10 cards was $1,873. Okay. You were off by a total of $606, but you got seven tiers correct, so we get to take that out. You were off by a total of 536 when you consider that. That puts you at 28.62% off. You win $50 for the viewers, claps. Okay, okay. And you're also, look, you beat Rhyme Style and you beat Farfa, so not a bad performance. We'll, hey, we'll take, take it. That. We'll That's take not that. bad at all for, I mean, look, Two years ago, it's been a long time. Solid performance. Mm -hmm. Also, you had kind of a lower number. Sometimes they go up into like the 2200s in terms of your total value. So it makes it a little bit less margin for error. So still not a bad performance. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you got anything else you want to say before you hop out? No, thank you for having me on. This was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully uh, I'll come back at some point in the future and be a little more accurate. I'll, I'll study a bit more you'll you'll you'll, uh, you'll get in the books you know start start yeah. uh start dusting off those old uh tcg player prices not bad if you guys want to enter the giveaway for the money that that charlie just won you guys make sure to like the video be subscribed and let charlie know below that he did it awesome or maybe you don't want to say he did awesome i don't know it's up to you guys you guys can decide <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to check out charlie i'm sure you already know who he is peace <laughs> <laughs> like, this card sucks. <laughs> that was unlucky. <laughs> that was tragic. I liked how confident you were. That was the best part.